first at four, we are kicking off a very special event as Help Me Hank tests the test. Now, there are hundreds of at-home do-it-yourself kits out there that promise accurate results, but do they work? Consumer investigator Hank Winchester spending the day testing them against the professionals. So Hank, what's up first? And Karen, we are testing at home cholesterol test kits. You know, we worked with Henry Ford Hospital here in Detroit to get the real numbers, and then we use these test kits to see if they're actually accurate. Your cholesterol, your numbers, they give you an important glimpse into your health. Why is cholesterol so important? Because it's associated with risk for heart attacks and other stroke and other vascular disease. Okay. Right now I'm here at Henry Ford Hospital in Detroit. It's here where they run cholesterol checks on thousands of people every year. When we get these results, what are we looking for? Well, you're combining those results, which is the total cholesterol and then the good and bad cholesterol, the HDL and the LDL. Could a home test be the answer? Today, we compare my labs from the hospital to the results we get from two over-the-counter home tests. The first check cholesterol home test, which will cost you about $15, and the cardio check analyzer, which costs $120. Are these home tests and others like it accurate? You'll see the results in a moment. Okay, so here's the cool part. We're now in the lab where they're testing my sample, my cholesterol test. It goes into this machine and then boom, in just a couple of minutes, we're gonna have the results here from Henry Ford. Dr. John Carey shares my results with me. Your total cholesterol. Oh, I'm high. I went up. Yeah. I would be considered a good candidate to keep an eye on my numbers, either working with my doctor or using a home test. The first test we use is the first check cholesterol kit. We get the sample, but I'll tell you the directions in this kit are complicated. So I did the finger prick. It worked the second time, but now I'm having trouble getting my sample out of the little syringe. Once the test sample is collected, I'm beyond disappointed to learn I will not get an actual number. Get your number just by matching your blood sample with the color on the side of this chart. So you're not getting a real number here. But with the cardio check analyzer, I'm not only impressed, but amazed by the ease of use and also the accuracy. Pictures, I like a picture. Helps explain what you have to do. This home test has my overall cholesterol score at 240. Just a few points different from what we saw at the lab at Henry Ford. Yet Dr. Carey says you should be cautious when using any sort of home test. More than likely, if I bring that to you and you're my doctor, you're going to tell me what? Let me I do my own draw, test. <laughs> yes, I, let me do my own test that yeah. I'm familiar with. Wow, but it worked. This one, of one them worked. worked. The other one. Not a big yeah. shock. The expensive test worked. It's you know about $120, $30, but if it's something that you need to test regularly then and you don't want to wait in the lab or the waiting room, not a bad investment. This thing, piece of junk. Not worth your time. Yeah. And we're going to address your cholesterol issue on a different story. We're right? working on it. No more, no more fried chicken. All right. Uh, this is just the beginning, <laughs> yeah, though, of our live up? event day. You know, we're talking about lead in water. It's a big issue from Flint to Detroit Public Schools. Well, what about the water in your own home? Is it safe? So we're testing uh, homes all over Metro Detroit using these lead test kits. Do they actually work? Surprising results. 530, okay. Carbon Monoxide Awareness Week. We know that's a silent killer. So we have several different test kits bought all over Metro Detroit. Firefighters helping us with that test. And at 6 o'clock, home breathalyzers, keychains, uh, devices Ooh. for your car. Do they actually work? All that begins live tonight at 5 o'clock. All right. We appreciate it. Good stuff. Sure. Thank you, Hank.